Hello everyone, I'm Luna Magic. I'd like to thank everyone for the support you've given me for the month of May. It, uh, I think we went into five weeks, didn't we? We had, uh, you know, quite a long month there. But it's also, too, to just really thank everyone for the support that they've given me since I've actually put up my first video in April, because uh, I've had the actual YouTube account for quite a long time, but April was the first ever video that I ever uploaded to um, YouTube, so uh, thanks for that. Um, the videos are only going to get better, and, um, you know, I, I, I'll continue to bring you guests every Thursday. Um, there was a question that someone had because I had just uploaded a recent video. Um, I upload all the videos up every Thursday at uh, the G GMT time. In other words, um, I'm located in the UK. And um, if you're in uh, the eastern part of the United States, East Coast, uh, EST time, that's five hours ahead of um, East Coast, and uh, you work your way backwards. So I will do that. And so if I do put something up there and you don't see it, it's just it's private, then it's only because it's going to come up in a few hours. So just give it some time. So let me go ahead and uh, thank the various people who I've actually had, the, my various guests that I've had on my show. I had Daniel Tiger on my show, and he spoke about um, ritual music and, and how you actually utilize that through and how you can actually uh, use that within your rituals. And uh, he actually created the CD on there, so please do check that video. Um, the next one I had was with Jason Miller, Financial Sorcery. Jason has an extremely great practical approach to magic and um, he discussed a lot of things um, about money and, and how it's actually an, an element in a way that, that you can work with because so many people separate money away from so much and it doesn't have to be separated from spirituality. If you follow my post, uh, which you know many times I just unload and just empty out my, my thoughts and, and put them in various uh, posts. And yes, they are my my thoughts. Um, I don't copy anything. If I do use anyone's um, information, I always give them credit for that. But um, spirituality and finance, money, has always been sort of separate. Um, and I believe that if people of, let's say, the magic community, the magical community, uh, would work with money a lot better, you know, everyone would be a whole lot more wealthier. Um, it, money does not have to be separate from spirituality, such as, you know, I mentioned before on uh, one of my other uh, shows that uh, sex and spirituality doesn't have to be, you know, separate. So, you know, it's all about really um, making everything work for you. And if you are the magical person that you say you are and you want to be, then you'll use every single Single thing you have access to that includes money so please do check that video out um, great video and last but not least um, I actually had um, Naba Arita uh, Shim Shimura on my show and he is a doggone priest and he spoke on the comedic philosophies of life and it was quite fundamental but very powerful at the end of the video I um, go through the 77 commandments that they have um, and and trust me I, I was thinking about those commandments as I was going on and say you know to see if I could actually um, you know even you know stay stay in a straight line and uh, and not commit the commandments you know and I, I think I would do pretty well um, and having um, and Navarita, you know, on my show. It was a great honor because he was here in the UK doing a, um, I, I believe it was a two-week lecture, and he took his time out. The, the day before, he had to go back to Africa to actually interview with me. He took his time out, and I really appreciate that. So uh, he has agreed to be on my show again um, at some time in the near future. So uh, look out for that. So I'll let everyone know. Yes, June. June is going to be a very packed month. A lot of intense uh, interviews this month. We got the Renegade Sufi, and it's a bit of a twist because I've actually um, I've actually learned from from uh, my my guest. Um, my guest also has a book, uh, Quantum Hedra, and um, with that he talks about a character that similarly seems a little bit like his life itself. 
him as a, uh, as, as a Sufi, as well as a musician, whereas that he actually, you know, um, does play the sitar and uh, he creates or he um, intertwines his spirituality through his music. So please do uh, view and, and, and make sure you watch that video, which is the first video of the week of June. The second video uh, that I have is a one where we played, we talked about um, spirituality, we talked about uh, awareness, we talked about, um, what else did we talk about? We talked about uh, the mind, and guess what we could be talking about? Well, cannabis. Uh, the second video is Cannabis Magic with Phil Farber, a, an expert in the uh, plant itself, cannabis. And uh, as you know, I've had Phil on my show quite a bit, um, it, particularly when I was doing, uh, let's say, internet radio or blog talk radio. And um, I've actually met Phil in the UK when he was here, and, and that was great. Phil is a wonderful guy, very intelligent, very on top of this stuff. Uh, we talk about cannabis and how it could be intertwined with uh, awareness and, and before ritual, during ritual, whatever, you know, so you'll see exactly what, what he says. And um, it's not, again, I'm not trying to condone in a, this video, um, the second week of June, is not to condone or try to get anyone hooked to start smoking joints and, you know, getting high and buying weed and buying $10 bags or 10 pound bags, depending on where you are. Um, it's to educate and it's to uh, alert you of, of really the possibilities if you so want to go down the street and buy a bag. So I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, being real about it. So uh, please do tune into that. Um, although I will have to say that um, for the record, I don't get high. So uh, for all of you who do and all of you who would like to learn a little bit more about the cannabis plant, uh, getting high, uh, using um, the, the, um, the properties of cannabis to uh, assist you in ritual, uh, that's your video. Uh, my third guest is Mark Allen Smith. Uh, he gave me truly an, an intense hour of his time. Uh, we spoke about so much. He's a practitioner, an author, um, dedicated to the gods that have bestowed upon him the knowledge to reinterpret and write what he shares to everyone. Uh, truly, um, some dark work, but in a way very pure. Um, you may know him from the Queen of Hell, uh, the Red King, and the Scorpion God, which is his latest book. So uh, please do join me on the third week of June. And um, again, like I mentioned, you probably would you you'll probably want to uh, uh, play it again. So um, just uh, put it in your calendar. The last video of the month is the Crystal Skulls, and of course, there's only one person I've ever had on my show because, uh, you know, I try to bring back the best, um, and, and that is uh, Joshua Shapiro. Joshua Shapiro is one of the icons for uh, Crystal Skulls, and um, he is actually bringing a lot of information to us, and it's a lot better than the actual... Um, internet radio that I was doing before because you couldn't see the actual images, imagery that, you know, that uh, he was talking about the various skulls. And um, it's nice to see the people face to face anyway. So um, I, I really want to really um, tell you all that it's a, a great lineup. So please do listen. And uh, if I didn't say before, and if you haven't read it, uh, prior to uh, uh, viewing today, uh, just remember that all videos are broadcast on Thursday, uh, my time, which is GMT, which is uh, UK time. Uh, so if you're on the East Coast, again, like as, as I've uh, said before, um, that will be five hours ahead of you. So just have patience if um, I have uploaded something and it says private, it's because it's not in your region. So, uh, uh, Either way, thank you for um, stopping by <laughs> when you do uh, try to uh, look at it. Now, that's all uh, I have to say at this point, but I do hope you enjoy all the videos and the great, wonderful guests. If you do have any guests whatsoever that you would like to have on my show, or I'm sorry, um, you, you know people you would like to have on my show, please do email me at um, mona at monamagic.com. 
Um, that's M O N A uh, M A G I C K. Everyone should know that. So um, just do check that out. And as well as make sure that you uh, visit me on Facebook because um, I'm always uh, intertwining with people and, and communicating with people. Email me. I always return the email. So with that, I would say, everyone, um, what's my line? Yes. When you use your will, use it wisely. Uh, so uh, that's about it. Take care. Bye.